we are engaged in a serious discussion right now in Washington as to how to right size our intelligence apparatus. Once bitten, twice shy, MEPs held talks with U.S. Senator Chris Murphy in Brussels to work out their differences over the NSA spying allegations. Since Julius Caesar liked to take over, and always parliaments and other courage people have to stop that to create balance, and that we have now such a debate within parliaments and between parliaments makes me confident that we will overcome this crisis. Murphy continued the damage control to keep the EU-US free trade agreement on track as well as sensitive data transfer deals. It seems to have worked as the European Commission announced that all deals would be honoured, but warned the US is treading on thin ice. European fishermen are keen to get back into the waters off the coast of Morocco after an agreement ran out in 2011. One of the EU's biggest international fishing deals with Morocco has been subject to much controversy over the disputed territory of Western Sahara, occupied since 1975. Though a majority of MEPs approved the new deal, some felt the rights of the Sahrawi people had been overlooked. The EU should absolutely respect uh, the natural resources of an occupied people. It belongs to that people, so we can't really negotiate and pay an occupying power to access to those resources. I agree with what the Western Sahara people are saying in their statements, and they're, they're calling this theft, and that is what it is. It now faces the gauntlet of the plenary vote in December. Noise pollution is the new frontier in the battle for city dwellers' health. Excessive noise levels can lead to poor sleep and heart attacks, according to the World Health Organization. Even the levels of deafness are rising. More than 200 million EU citizens living in cities could be affected, which is why MEPs passed new rules limiting the noise emission levels for cars, vans, buses and lorries. If it passes a plenary vote in December, vehicles will have to cut their volume within one or two years' time.